Hi all, in this video I am going to talk about how to save in licensing cost for Azure DevOps by using a tool called DevOps Smart Board. Yes, so this is very important aspect so please um, watch till the end. Before getting to know the tool, let us understand the challenges faced by Azure DevOps customers or users. So in Azure DevOps, we don't have organizational level dashboards and there are no reports on CI/CD pipelines at organization level. Uh, then no end-to-end -end traceability from Epic to tasks to bugs, you know, in a single view. No activity reports for developers across projects. So at the individual team projects level, we have the, you know, dashboards or reports. And the main important thing, uh, we don't have uh, a detailed subscriber information or inactive users or the dormant users, you know, uh, who, have, who are not using uh, the Azure DevOps. So DevOps Smart Board is a solution for most of these challenges. So it's a, it's a product, uh, it's a SaaS application developed by Canaries. This tool is uh, built on top of Azure DevOps. It uses the Azure DevOps APIs. So it's a one-stop solution for all the reporting needs for customers using Azure DevOps. Um, I have done a couple of videos on this product earlier. Uh, I've, I have put the link in the description, you can check out. While it has many features, today I am going to highlight about one such report uh, that, cost, that's, that saves the cost on Azure DevOps licensing, that is the uh, subscriber report. So this report uh, basically lists all the, uh, you know, uh, the users of my DevOps organization and the even, uh, you know, it categorizes the license types. Like I have like three basic you know, users then uh, 91 uh, stakeholder you know, uh, users or two uh, Visual Studio subscribers, uh, 10 users of VS Enterprise license. So in one view, uh, I could see all the information and the next best part is uh, it will list the inactive users or the dormant users having basic licenses, uh, but uh, who are not accessed or connected to my Azure DevOps organization from last 30 days or 60 days. So uh, as, a, as admin of my Azure DevOps organization, I can downgrade these users into a, you know, a stakeholder access or you know, I can check with my team internally and remove these users from the Azure DevOps organization. So by this way, I can save on the license cost. So let me you know, explain uh, uh, with an example let us assume a company is spending licenses for over 110 users on a monthly basis but not sure all the users are active so let us see how much the company can save by using uh, devops smart board uh, okay I've, I've just listed a scenario one where you know we have uh, 110 users so uh, the basic license cost is six dollars per user per month and let's assume we have 100 uh, active users and 10 inactive users from last you know uh, who have not accessed uh, the, the azure devops in last 30 days so if, if i'm not using uh, the tool or you know uh, any other um, solution i may be still spending you know that $60 okay on the license cost now let's see a scenario where I am using DevOps smart board so the same uh, example so I have 110 users in that 100 are active users then 10 are inactive users who have not accessed the tool in last 30 days so with DevOps smart board uh, which the tool will identify I can go and you know uh, downgrade the users to the stakeholders, I can save, you know, $60. And whereas the, the, the license cost of the tool, the DevOps mod board is $4 per month. 
So if you compare uh, the ROI is almost like $54 on a monthly basis. And now if you assume, you know, uh, companies where we have like thousands of basic licensed users or hundreds of basic licensed users and every month or, you know, uh, every day the admin can go and check, uh, you know, in the, in the DevOps smart board tool and see if there are any inactive users, uh, you know, who are not uh, use the uh, Azure DevOps or access the Azure DevOps in last 30 days and go and downgrade or remove. So just an example, like if, if we see 10 inactive users every month, so we are going to save uh, now around $720 per year. And whereas the DSP license cost is $40. So you can see like, you know, more than $600 is the return on investment. Let me uh, quickly uh, show you the demo of the tool. So devopsmartboard.com. So this is the tool. So let me sign into this. So this will basically list all my uh, DevOps organization. So I have access to all these organization. Let me select one of the organization and I'll choose this uh, subscribers report. So it has many other reports like you know, pipelines at the org level, user capacity, org level dashboards. Uh, but for this video, I'm limiting to the subscriber reports. Let me click on load reports now. Yeah, so you can see, you know, in, in this organization, uh, it says I have, uh, you know, four users with the uh, basic license and two with enterprise, total six uh, users. And I could see here, you know, one of the user is inactive uh, and with a basic so I can go and select the user and you know I can downgrade so I can easily with this I can easily identify you know the users and downgrade and I can also see you know the user is part of uh, how many projects in my organization yeah you can see that so that's it, uh, you know, uh, like you can see now how easy it is uh, to check all the uh, users and uh, filter out based on uh, the number of days, you know, 60, 90, uh, 30 days. And I can even uh, say uh, list all the basic users, okay, or list all the inactive users and I can easily downgrade them to the stakeholder. I hope the video was useful. Thank you.